Yes, people, good evening. What are we saying? It is today is the day before we are leaving to go to France. I'm recording this intro now because I can guarantee you that tomorrow I will not be this fucking chirpy because currently working out how long it's going to take us to drive the Euro Tunnel in the morning. I'm currently here with Mr. Cherry Kreps, who is traveling with me to France because we are going on a bit of a resellers trip. Now, what the fuck are we going to France for? Now, as part of the launch of Resellers Paradise, which I'll talk to you a little bit later about, we were alerted about a profitable flip a Disney Lorcana limited trading set, which retails at 100 pounds. Trading card enthusiasts will pay like 400 pounds for it, but it only releases in select locations. One of those locations being Paris. It also drops in London, but London's not really that interesting. So I thought, if we go Paris, we can also do Nike outlets. There's a Swatch release that's profitable. Fuck it. Three days in Paris, just buying up all the shit we know we can resell for a profit. So we are getting on this down here, Le Shuttle, at 9.30 a.m tomorrow morning. We live roughly in Leeds, which is a five hour trip. So in order to actually have the full day available to us in France, we do have to leave here about 3 a.m., which is what we're currently arguing about, because I don't want to go and pick him up. We're not fucking arguing about it. Pick me up. My house Just is ignore this guy. I'm not to listening to this guy. House is, you are going past me to the shuttle. Anyway. Um, yeah, now basically we're going to be spending a fuckload of money, we're going to be making a shitload of money, dossing about in front, it, look, I don't really know how it's going to go, I hope it goes well and to plan, we've got a decent plan I'd like to think, there is the possibility of shit going wrong, I will pick back up in the morning when I'm on the way to pick Jamie up. Alright, good morning, um, as I said I'm now significantly less chirpy than I was yesterday, because it is currently 4 fucking am, did you see that yeah? It's 4am, and we're already up and fucking grafting. Who else is about it like this? Who else is about it like this, Jamie? Me. Well, no, not me. Yourself. No <laughs> one is the fucking answer. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. No one is like this. So, we're currently headed now to the other side of the country. We're on our way down to Folkestone, Le Shuttle, whatever the fuck that means in English. The train thing that takes you over to France. Stop filming, please. Fire update, it's currently. Hang fuck. on. Hand, oh, up, hand my hands over, Mike. Oh, my God, man. Please. We're going again. 20 past seven, currently. We've got an hour until we get to where we're getting the shuttle. We're trying to go around over Dartford Crossing, so hopefully it don't fall down or anything like that while we're on it. That'd be long. I'm in New York. With POV, with AJ sneakers driving a Volkswagen up across Dartford Crossing. We're at the, the shuttle thing. I'm getting fucking nervous, man. There's a thing there telling you if you've got any uh, machine guns in the car to make sure to flare it, so. Should we tell them about the AI? Probably, yeah. Siri is definitely listening to me. I'm going to get fucking swatted. Let's drive through the barrier. Right, I need to go get some shit for the car because apparently to drive in France you need two high vis in the front, a fucking sticker on the back of the car, and some other shit. I don't know. French and that. Things nuts. Nice. They've got fucking duty free and everything. Let's go spend 30 quid on some exotic stickers for the car. 40 quid. Can you get me one of those bears as well? Huh? Can you get me one of those bears? Yeah, judgment. Thank you. Food time. This guy's fucking desperate to eat something. He's but he can't find anything he likes. I'm gonna crack on with my third energy drink of the day. It's 8 a.m., but I woke up at three, so technically it's like, what? Two o'clock? Burger King short. I actually <laughs> really wanted a Whopper at this time, Mark. Oh! My bits, we need one of them. I think we need two. Aha! Uh -huh. Got a sticker. Help. Let's put it on the back. Shut the boot and stick it on back. Oh, 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 oh! Getting somewhere. Here we go. Right. The Bosch. you, we've got to go to this gate now, but I don't have a fucking clue what's going on or where we're going or anything to be honest. We're going up on the wrong ferry and end up in bloody Amsterdam. We're not off on a ferry. Or whatever we're getting on. Train. 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 <laughs> so, I think they're the same one behind us. They're following us. We're all going to the wrong fucking place then. Who even cares at this point? <laughs> I'm so over it. I'm ready to go on. Uh, we're buying some shoes. Are aware when you bring stuff back in the UK, you might have to pay taxes. Yep. What's your uh, website called? AJ, you bizarre. What are you doing, Alex? I've just self snitched on myself, essentially. Why? What did he do? Importing goods into the UK from France, you usually have to pay for that and customs duty. I want to kill myself. Shit and yeah. I don't know. Um, then, we, then we looked at shipping back. I asked Jensen, um, is, is it like, or is it easy to avoid? like customs in the EU, he said it, he said it's fairly difficult, more difficult than Asia. You need to get on Gov UK website 
and research about the room. Move in after finding out all the horrible information about the taxes we may or may not have to pay when we come back in. I don't know what happens now. Touchdown in France. Where's the first stop, Jamie? This is like five minutes away. There's an Adidas in Calais. Okay, we're gonna go out of that in Calais, try and find some uh, Yeezy Sid and Silver Me. Then after that, we're gonna go to a clearance store I'll with in Rubai. Fuck, fucking French tour. Which one is this like? It's a, the right side, it's the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Which we drive on. Okay, but that's, it says please keep to the right. <laughs> so why are you in the left lane? That's what I'm asking you. Bonjour. Bonjour, baguette, wee oui, wee. Oui. Obviously this video is for educational purposes and we will not be buying anything as we can't take it back over with us. Correct. We just need the lulls at this point, really. <laughs> um, and I've got an attic. Yes! <laughs> That's made my day. they got a few easies left to be fair, but like, nothing decent. It's all tiny sizes. It's actually more expensive here anyway. 115 euro rather than 100 quid, so... Probably works out to a bit more expensive. Okay, up late. That was shit. No different to the UK one, really, just a bit shitter. A slightly higher retail, so it works out to pretty much the same price over here anyway. I thought it would have been the lower retail. The next stop is Rubai, which is a clearance store. So we might find some good stuff in there. Okay, we've reached the outlet. Uh, it took about an hour and a half. We've just got Jamie just strapping himself up. I'll show you what it looks like when he's finished, but we've got an Adidas here and we've got a Nike clearance store. So. Uh, hopefully find some interesting stuff in the clearance store. I don't know what kind of stuff they have in France clearance store. Hopefully it's not the same as UK. Because if it is, I'll be really upset. Uh, Jamie's strapped up now. Well, we're going to have a look in, I don't know, see if they've got any decent Yeezys. To be fair, static 350s are still selling for quite good money. So, let's head the fuck in. Look at how this fucking guy's walking about. He's definitely getting sent to prison. Okay, tell a lie, we're going to Adidas first because that's closest. Then we go around this corner. Ha ha. That's not clearance store. So first, check for some Yeezys. Okay, this is the shoulder that's lifting here. Pretty much nothing left. Everything else there seems to be fairly expensive, so I first started talking to camera and that guy thought I was talking to him. Kind of awkward. They haven't they haven't seen the first one as well, but they've got loads of 50 off football boots. I don't really know if these are any good. I don't think so. I can't be just checking. And here we are, as you can see. Okay, so I've already had a look around to sort of get my bearings. I've grabbed a couple of bits so far. I'm still just having a look around trying to work stuff out. But firstly, these 97s. 60 euros. I don't really know how it works in these stores because some of them just say no discount on. Then these, they only have UK5 in these, but 30 euro with a 50% off. So that's like, I don't even know, 20 something quid. They seem to have a lot of the same shit they have in the UK for like the most part, like these SB Blazers, ACGs, um, funky colour Tarachis, and I can't for the life of me work out the discount. So, I mean, unless those are 70, they're not worth it. Main thing I think we're going to look out for here is Air Maxes, because they're not, obviously not as popular as they are. Uh, over in the UK here. These with 30% off, they some more like £20. Normally a fair decent cop. This is 30% off, so we've got a shitload of Harachis again. 28 euro. All football boots, just randomly, but these ones have no discount. Don't know if these are any good, I've never seen these before actually. In all fairness, looking at sales on eBay, if these weren't a terrible size, I might even think about picking these up. It's quite incredibly difficult to work out what's actually discount because some of it, like, it has a price on, but it doesn't say if it's discounted or not. Um, or some of them will have like a 30% off sticker on them. Nothing in this men's aisle, this has just been absolutely looted or is just dead or I don't know. There's nothing worth grabbing in on this aisle. I've got a bunch of Harachis which are 42 euro, which to be honest normally be worth picking up. What's really odd is they've got loads of these Jordan 4 yellow sulfurs, but they're all full price and big sizes. I don't know why they put them in a clearance store, full price doesn't really make sense to me, but you know. I've also got in here, you don't see in the UK, is this Nike refurbished stuff, so like it's all replacement boxes basically. Shoes like uh, that are returns or defects, whatever, which they um, return to like brand new condition, I suppose you could say, and sell them uh, like discount like these 97 to 50 euro. And to be fair, like, can't really tell they're worn like, at all. There's little scuffs on the back there, but I don't think it's worth reselling stuff like this with the sole like that. But yeah, I've got five pairs. I haven't really been able to record in here as much as I'd like to because it's kind of crazy, but. Um, I'm going to pay for them now and I'll show you exactly what I ended up getting. But that one mental, that is more intense than any UK clearance outlet I've ever been to. I couldn't film it because there's so many people now, I don't want, want to get headbutted by some French guy for fucking filming. But So the way they do it is, yeah, when they restock uh, the aisles, they get this big trolley out, they block it off at one side and then put a fucking barrier up at the other and they all just stand at the barrier, fucking hanging over the barrier like zombies, waiting to restock. It's like, brav, like, come on now, like, I don't listen. I like this reselling thing and making money, but I ain't about to do that. But we ended up with five pairs. Now, it's only the first store today, so we didn't want to get loads of stuff, getting stuff back and shit. We didn't want to take overboard in the first store, but 
Um, yeah, the clearance store is, is, is okay. It wasn't as great as I thought it'd be, but we did end up getting two pairs of these in the UK five, these women's 95s for literally uh, 30 euros. So that'd be like 26, 25 quid. Second pair. Um, these Air Max 90s, Gore-Tex size 11. Never seen these in the UK. And last sale on eBay is like 144. 80 euros, so it were like 70 quid, probably a little bit less. There are 97s for literally 60 euros, so about just over 50 quid. And then for the finale, this is a really good find. These Track Red Smoke Grey 95s. These are the refurbished ones, they're size nine and a half. Um, these things, I'll be real with you, I'm gonna sell them as brand new because they pretty much are brand new. And look at them, 50 fucking euro. So I paid like 45 pound for them, which is ridiculous. So that's probably like an 100 pound profit flip in itself. Um, so yeah, first store, not too bad. We're off to the factory store now. Actually, firstly, Jamie, show us what you got. To fight some French people off for some Vermeros, bit of a dead colorway, but for like 40, 60 euros, so Six. like 55 quid. I'll be honest, I picked these up because a few other people did. Peer pressure. That's just how I make money. Yeah. But they're not awful. Some Air Max pulses. 60 euro again. What? Not bad. Quid. Talking of copying people's flips, I literally bought these because you did. Yep, but they're good though. Why, I don't know why you only got one. And then these, I actually <laughs> thought these were a good flip to be fair. Some mids, discount of 30%, 80. I'm not a good at maths, but profit. It's like, yeah, 50 quid. Bosh. Next stop, factory store Lil. I'm kind of hungry. And I hope the next store's not as busy as this one because that's crazy. I just wanted to briefly interrupt this video to plug my new project, Resellers Paradise. Now, this is a reselling Discord group. Let you know about a ton of different stuff that you can make money reselling on. Whether it's sneaker releases, low-key sneakers you can make money on, 40-page, 10,000-word Nike outlet guide, clothing, we just had the Fred again jersey drop, which is like, what? 80 pounds profit and the newest and most exciting addition the vintage bot now how this works is thousands of thousands of items are listed on vintage every single day what a vintage bot does is it filters out all of the crap anything that's posted that's worth buying to then resell on for a profit back on vintage it sends a notification for into the discord press the hyperlink to buy it takes you straight into vintage you buy it take better pictures stick it straight back on vintage and make some profit we've even got an auto buy so you don't even have to buy it you literally press one button and it buys it for you this is one of the things that our members have been getting involved with the most and i can't lie it's been going better than i could have ever expected it to because it's going so well and because i'm a sick bloke and i appreciate all of the people that watch my youtube videos use the discount code youtube in the link down below to join resellers paradise it's the WAP link that'll give you 50 percent off your first month making it 12 quid okay if you join it find out it's not for you and you can literally cancel for free Simple as that. If you're already a reseller or you're looking to just get started, I'd 100% recommend it to you. With Christmas fast approaching, this is by far the best side hustle to get going in right now. Okay, at the next stop, factory store in Lil. It's just quite big to be fair, so hopefully we can find like some, he was fucking friendly. Some uh, Air Maxes, Air Max 95s, that kind of thing. So first find is these big bubble Air Maxes. These with student, that'll take it to like 89 and then pounds, it'll be like 80 quid a pair, which is kind of nuts for these big sizes you can sell for like 150 so I'm gonna definitely grab five of those that's a good find okay five of these uh one of each size go and focus on bigger sizes because they will do the best nothing else really worth grabbing air max wise these are all uh full price but when they do all go like 50 percent off then i mean if you're just if you just happen to be kicking about in a uh, lil then some serious cash to be made these fly me air maxes for 85 euro uh, normally good, but a factor in the fact we've got to ship them back, so that kind of adds uh, a cost per pair. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to dabble in there. Maybe grab a couple. Slam Jam Air Forces, if they discount, they're good money, but they're not, so it's pointless looking at them. Some half price blazers, but not really worth touching these at all, to be honest. Got more of these for £60, but you can grab pairs like this in the UK, to be honest. And in the French outdoors, you have to carry your bags around with you the whole time. You can't like leave them anywhere. Loads of dunks, uh, all full price, well, not full price, but not discounted at all much of a kids or uh women's back wall at all literally just men's pairs mostly i mean this is all the kids and women's they got a bunch of discounted jordans the women's chicago's with their trash uh these air force platforms are decent but i've already got a full size run um paid cheaper than that anyway the fuck is that man these would have been good to pick up but stay at that actually where i was kind of hoping on being good but uh they got all of the new milers but they're just too expensive like in here 30 euro so even with student discount, that's like 25 quid a top, which is 
not worth grabbing. So I think we're going to grab them five pairs of Air Max because they're good profit each uh, and probably call it there. Right, I only ended up grabbing five pairs at the end, but five pairs of these. Now, these are an absolute banger. These came out to literally £75 per pair. Brand new, full box, we can sell them on StockX. I mean, most of the sell nows on StockX are higher than that on these. Um, so can't fucking go wrong at all. Five pairs, all big sizes, should make at least £50 a pair on those. In the car they go, and we're gonna go to the next door. I believe the next door is quite far away, and I'm fucking hungry. Food. Should we get food? Yeah. Yeah, Jamie, what did you get? Uh, I got these joints. People might know about these. University Blue Air Max 270s, 48 euro. And then one of the pairs that you got. We'll go into them. Food? Yes, food, immediately. Hi! We're in Belgium. We're at the clearance store in Mons now. I don't know why we're in Belgium. I'm about to fall asleep and we've got four hours or, um, to drive to Paris. So I'm really happy about that. So we're going to go. We've got another clearance store here. It's literally just on the side of the fucking road. Not really sure what this is all about, but hopefully there's some profit. I don't really care at this point. Let's just go in. This bit more like we found a couple of these Air Max 95s um, and a pair of these as well. All of them are 79.99, so takeoff student there'll be 72. And that makes them like 64 quid or something with ink pounds. So we're going to look for a few more of them, try and pick up as many of those as we can. Hell of a lot quieter in here than it is in the other store, so you can actually look at stuff properly. Basically, just grabbed a bunch of 95s both between us. I don't know how much I've actually recorded so far, but they're all like £60 after exchange and uh, with student discount. Tell you what, this makes you realise how good our clearance stores are in the UK, because these stores are an absolute fucking state. Like, look at the clothing fucking everywhere. There's shoes just randomly mismatched everywhere. The ones in the UK, they're actually on job. The big ups to them, to be fair. This is a fucking shithole. Look at this, man. There is just shit everywhere. All over the floor. None of it's organised. Yeah, I think we're just about done. I think we're going to call it with them MX 95s. I think there's really anything else that's worth grabbing, to be honest. I've just found a pair of... Ooh. How much are these? Hmm. I'll grab these as well. They seem to sell fairly well. And they're 30% off, so they're like 50 quid or something. Probably less. So I think we'll grab these as well. These we're going to grab as well. They're 30% off. So these are like... 60, 70 quid and they retail at 200. Bosh. Okay, they wouldn't let us get student discount, which is annoying, but we still ended up getting four pairs of these for 70 pounds each. Uh, these were like 35, 70, 70, uh, and then another pair of those, 70. We put a couple of the other bits back because we couldn't get the student discount on. I just, I don't know, I don't want to be overspending and buying loads of stuff uh, when it might not be profitable. But yeah, decent trip that. 95 should be making like 40 pounds 50 pounds profit each per pair on them so uh, yeah can't complain next stop is about two hours away my phone's gonna run out of charge so i need to stop filming now uh but yeah so it turns out that the french are incredibly lazy they all shut their fucking shops at like half six but not only oh my god it's a ups access point we found one shop that's open and this might be fake fucking do you see this yeah photocopy we can print our labels here but not only that it's a fucking ups access point too if this isn't fake then i don't know what it is this is weirdest shop i've ever been in but it's literally a gift from god we can print labels here we can ship stuff here they'll give us boxes that solved all of our problems so we can just focus on just buying everything we need to um so we're gonna get some beers pack up some of the shoes tonight is a big relief all right this is hotel i don't know what the fuck i've booked it was 70 quid a night we're about to find out but i've been stood here for about 20 minutes trying to get uh checked in long day it's official. We have booked the world shittest hotel. It won't let me check in. Now we've got to wait for this gate. What am I watching? <laughs> like, what have I actually paid for? This is crazy. Go, 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 go. Dash this dinger here. I'll tell you what, yeah. This ain't even bad for what I paid. Like, this was cheap as fuck. Do you reckon there's a way to get the beds closer together? I'm fucking moving about that, mate. We've got a fucking TV in here, mate. It's like a penthouse. Actually, it's penthouse settings. Let's get, get a view. Get a bit of a view going on. Yeah, open these windows a bit since I'm in dust real estate. <laughs> oh, nice. Penthouse living, mate. Yep. Brilliant. I'm right piss. Okay, so this is day one um, between us. What is it? Six, 11. 18 pairs for me, and probably a similar number for Jamie. Uh, yeah, he's got, what, 16 there. Decent first day. 
Uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, so we're now literally gonna flat pack all this and get it into the box ready to get shipped. Crack over a couple che cheeky couple bevskis. That's actually just how we move. Oh my god, it opens all the way. Yeah. Might have thrown myself out of here. Yeah, all right, good morning, people. It's now the next day, which means it's now half seven. It's time to go to Disneyland. Who's fucking excited? Not me either, because I've. I, yeah, like I said, the only reason we're going is for this Lorcana trading set. It's dropping in Disneyland, but neither of us have any fucking clue whereabouts in the whole park it's going to be. We're just going to kind of turn up and freestyle it. It's also half seven, so we're going to get it at eight, so we're going to get there stupid early. I'm going to have to camp and wrestle against a load of kids so i don't really know what's going to happen there but we're gonna um yeah as they always find out we want to get like a pastry or something but no it seems to be open nothing's open it's 8 a.m like what the fuck are these people doing what are french people even doing at spare time Brawl. complain another thing yeah these french tolls take the fucking piss what is this what am i paying for i also don't know even remotely what lane i should be or shouldn't be in one of them i had to pay 11 euro for and this one I've got to pay three euro to drive on two miles worth of road. Give me my fucking ticket. <laughs> you just got there, I think. Are you taking the fucking piss? Tap the thing, yeah. Two pound for what? Two miles of road. Fuck, go, 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 go. Uh, power. Let's fucking do this Citroen. Get smoked. Oh my god, we're here. We're the kids of that. That's correct. <laughs> we need a ticket to get in. Hello, you French slut. Ready? Parking, 30 euro. <laughs> Can't you just bid it out here and walk it? What? 30 euro? <laughs> well, we're here now, mate. <laughs> Just gone past the thing. There's no fucking in there. Yeah, <laughs> 30 fucking euro. 30 euro. Thanks. Fuck off. 30 euro. If we don't cop Disney or Carter, I'm gonna be mildly upset. 25 69. <laughs> 69. Now what is that about? Oh, how are you charging 30 euro to use a car park? Camping car park. Hang on. We're not camping. No, this is the camp. What are you doing? Right, which one are we? Well, we're not a bus. Just <laughs> gonna follow that prick. He's camping. And we're not disabled. You fucking are. Well, we're not a bus or a bike. <laughs> yep. So where the fuck am I going? Fuck, I'm just gonna park there. How do we find this on the way out? Are these spaces? The noise is already pissing me off. You get a little bit confused here. Where's that twat going? Alright, let's see where he's going. Well, they can't get towed that quickly because there's still two cars parked there. They'd have a busy day of fucking time cars, wouldn't they? Alright, fuck it. Park there. Honestly, mate, don't know where we are. I don't really care at this point either. I'll pay £25, I'll use whatever fucking car park I want, mate. Fuck you, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, okay, we've come to the conclusion we're definitely not meant to be in this car park, but I really, I'll be real with you, like, I don't care. He's in it too. Should we go interview him? Also, we have actually brought a change of clothes. I've brought a hat. Glasses, full change of clothes, new pair of shoes, so we can loop this Lorcana shit, so we can hopefully pay for my £30 off of parking. Right, that's where we actually should be, apparently. That is bus parking. What are they going to do, though, realistically? Okay, we're moving the car. Right. Leave the coach car park, as I think this car got towed. My dad might stab me. Follow this van. Mickey Mouse parking right there. <laughs> Fucking hell, they're not banging about, are they? Wait! <laughs> Wait for me! Normal parking located. Size that speed bump. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck me. Do you reckon we're first for the Disney Lorcana? Nope. Not even close, are we? Nope. He could be going for Disney. you got to think about it like this, yeah. He could be going for Disney Lorcana. Or she, yeah. Them couple of lesbians could be after Disney Lorcana. So I don't really want to take any risks. That means no stopping at zebra crossings. Overtaking where possible. Hello, get out my fucking way, please, mate. Should we get ourselves some of them ears? A bit left out without them. Yeah, uniform. Uh, so, I just had the thought to try have a look at, um, try and find a French Disney Lorcana page, and I've just uh, pre this. This is at Disneyland. Okay. 
So in short, fuck the 30 euro park and we're off outlets. Fuck Disneyland. Fuck Disney Little Kana. Um, fuck the French. Fuck him in the shit hat. Bruv, this is the queue. What the fuck is that? That's insane. Like what? What is going on? I'm, I'm assuming this is the Disney Lokana shit. You come in for the Lokana stuff? Uh, the stuff? Lokana train card thing. Oh, uh, I don't understand this one. Who speaks English? Is this what they came for? Who speaks fucking English? Excuse me. Yes. Is that, yes. Is that the queue for the Disney Lokana stuff? I know, it's for a new box of uh, Lokana. Training, uh, the Lokana It is? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. You give tickets to someone in this queue. I blow my brains out. So you didn't even need a ticket anyway. So when I rang the woman and she told me, I'm gonna. Do we? Nah, that's insane, isn't it? Queue for it. Yo, excuse me. You speak English? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You want tickets to go in for uh, free? I have no time to go, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, no worries. That's the end of the fucking queue. That's crazy. I'll be honest, like, it is difficult being this fucking stupid. Like, just on a day-to-day -day basis, just having shit like this happen. Like, it is really quite challenging being an idiot. So I guess we're just off outlets now. Recoup some losses for the Disney ticket. You didn't even need a Disney Jesus ticket. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> you didn't even need a ticket. Oh, man. Long day, charge it though. Yeah, in all honesty, it's not looking good. These dunks, because they're 50% off, so after conversion 50 off, they're like 50 quid. Also got all this uh, refurbished stuff in here as well, which is kind of cool. That'd be, it'd be quite, it'd be good to get this in UK to be fair. It doesn't really seem to be anything you can grab for a profit, which is not good. This is just pretty much the same as UK in here. These things, but they're massive. And they're not even that cheap, what? 85 euros, so that's like 75 quid. But nice sevens, but they're all trash sizes. This might be an L. I can't lie. I'll have a check of active wear quickly, see if there's anything decent, but we might have to firm this L here. Get yeah, nothing decent on this refurbished wall. Um, but it's not discounted, I don't think. Maybe if it was discounted, it'd be okay. If these were discounted, they'd be decent. Grab my dunks and then call it there. One more weird, there didn't seem to be, there was like one other guy that seemed like a reseller in there. It was just empty as fuck. There's an ad here as well, so I might check it for some Yeezys, but I just need to get some food as well. Good thing about Mackie's in uh, foreign countries, yeah. They have these top chips, which are always loud. Fuck knows what Jamie's got. I mean, have fun with that, mate. These are banging. What's up, guys? Hey, we're back. We are with you, mate. We are back. You're back. That's I'm fucking that's back. You. She's got a fucking staring problem. We're at another Nike store. Factory store this time. Um, just got to work out how the fact to get in here. This be better than the last store. If not, bad vibes all around. He's just. <laughs> She's walking to a fucking post. I got an Alice in here as well, so I might have used these. Probably won't though, just like all the other stores, doors. Stores, stores, stores. Stores, yeah. Also, well, apparently we're going into Korea first, because our boy. Korea? It's not Korea, there's no E, you fucking idiot. It's not Korea, is it? It's Kur Korea. Listen, buddy. Shush. Whatever fuck it is, right? Zach Bedford told us to go in here, and if you know who Zach Bedford is, you know he's uh, clued up on his stuff. They've got loads of stuff in there, but it's pretty much the same as what they've got in Nike Outlook, just. More expensive, pretty much. I mean, what Vision Reacts for a hundred? Not worth. Uh, they've got some ninety fives. All these up tempos, fifty off, but again, not really worth it. They've got a few Vermeers to be fair, but again, these are only forty percent off, so these are like a hundred euro still. Um, these ones are quite nice, to be fair. Flat pew to P six thousands is kind of mental for discounted, but. A shit size, unfortunately. If they had these in good sizes, they'd be worth picking up. Air Maxes, but again, they're about 30% off, so they're not really that cheap. 95s, 40% off, but 190 euro for it. It's like 100 quid. There's these handball things, but 40% off, but they're all uh, size 11 and a half. Yo, hold up. Men's Uggs. If they had women's ones, they'd be decent, but I don't think the men's ones are worth touching. If as a man you're wearing these, you've got some serious, serious issues. This like back wall style thing, I don't really know if there's anything decent here. If the prices are any good on them. These are actually my size, 20% off, UK9. I don't know, what do you think? Are these cool? Are these nice P6000s? Jamie's had more of a look around me and he's come to the conclusion that it is, and I quote, yeah. So, I'm going to stop bothering to look now. I do actually have women's Uggs in here, but they're 190 then 20 percent off. So basically, the, the I don't understand the point. 
because the retail is just high, so the 20% off just takes it back down to normal retail. These are a really good seller for me, but again, it's like 20% off for retail. Now you can get them for more than 50 off, so pointless. These in every clearance outlet for like 30 quid. It's just an overpriced Nike outlet in here. Jeremy got a pair, at least. What'd you get? Some specials. Yeah, but... What's resale? They put the price up and then discount it, so they're just literally... Normal retail. 85 quid. But we'll get 120, for them. Bosh. Can't be us waiting for Jamie, so we're going on Vass. See what they've got in there. Be zero users in there, so... We're gonna go night because we're still waiting for Jamie and he's taking fucking ages, but... These shopping centres are so weird. Like, this place is literally empty. Apart from that one guy. But how do these places stay open? I don't get it. There's so many shops in here as well. But look. No one's fucking in there. No one was in Adidas. One guy is in, well, like two people are in whatever the fuck that shop is. I'm pretty sure the other person who's not that guy works in there. Not looking good, it's looking like another shit Nike store, I'm not gonna lie. More refurbished, they've got a couple 95s, but these we picked up much cheaper yesterday and they're like 130, them white ones down there. No discounted Air Maxes, it's looking like an L. Looking like nothing is gonna be profitable uh, in this store, which is annoying, but you know, on to next. To be fair, these gold things, they got loads of like 45 quid, which would be good, but I already, I already have loads of these from the UK, so don't really want Right, we got these, actually, I lied, because there's a bid on StockX for like £80. Pound. Um, so these cost me like £45 pound pass, that's like just free 20 quid basically. Just like that, we also got a bunch of cardboard boxes to ship our stuff back with, so essentially, everything is cushy. There are no issues, as long as we can print the labels okay, which I'm assuming we will be able to. And if we can't, we'll just kill ourselves. Does that sound good to you? Honestly, mate, I've been wanting to kill myself since we got here. Well, there you go. Okay, next Nike store is a factory one in Genevieve's. One mile in, it's actually cheap in here as well. And it's the worst colourway they could possibly have. Fuck's sake. It's 30% off. And there'd actually be good stuff if it was 50. <sighs> we found these though. These 270 white and blue things. 10 and a half. It's like 70 quid. You can get like 100 and something payout for them. So. It's 40 quid, I suppose. These would be good, but I've already got loads of them at home. These for 170 euros is crazy. But the student 30, so we're gonna grab a few of these. They're like 45 pound or 50 after shipping. These also, uh, 90. After discounts, they're like just under 50 pound. Five pairs in that store. Uh, that was pretty successful to be fair. Those dunks scamper at 50% off as well, so I'm fairly sure I paid like 35 pound for them. Let me get to Karen, I'll show you actually exactly what I got. Yeah, so the dunks we paid 40 euros got these for the euros which is like what 34 quid which is kind of crazy uh, brand new men's uk nine and a half kind of clean Percy to be fair at uh, the running shoes we paid 56 euro three pairs of these 56 euro um which is like 89 quid probably get like 80 for them uh those probably get 80 90 for and then lastly these 270s which we paid 85 euro for which is like 73 quid. Then you'll get a pout on Alias. Uh, in this specific size, only the big, big sizes, so this is an eight, which is quite a rare size. Uh, these on Alias or StockX, you'll get like 120 payout for. Another 100 and something profit. Uh, next Nike store, it's another Nike night, but it's factory stores after this. Jamie's hiding the pairs of the car that get smashed into because some guy in a suit came up and said he was gonna break into the car and take all the pairs if we leave it for any longer. Is that like a traditional, is that what normal French people do? Decent stuff on this little sluice as well. Some curry dunks, uh, Oxide Green 4s, them TNs, Chicago's, obviously nothing really to resell, but some just generally decent stuff. They got their, again, this wall they have in every single store. It's 30%. 30%. Let's just go. And there's shit all on here, uh, as always. If this was 50%, holy shit, man. Would have been so good. How much are these? Uh, uh, my god, man. These, 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 those, these. Like, why does it have to be shitty? These, I mean, it's a shit size, but you get the idea. This is massive, to be fair, but like, literally everything's full price. So, like, what do I even do? Nothing to buy. Oh. These, after exchange rate and student, are like just over 50, but not really worth grabbing. Just so annoying, this is 30. If it's 50, this would be such a cook. Like, it'd be like a 1k spend kind of thing. I still think these might be worth it actually at 
150, 30, brings it to about 80 pound a pair after the exchange rate and all that shit. So I'm gonna quickly do a little bit of research. Uh, these as well, to be fair, for 80 quid, I'm fair sure are decent. These with student, work out it's like 58 pounds and P6000s men's, I'll probably grab them as well. I need to ask if they actually do student in here. They do then, I'll probably buy some bits. And then Jordan 1s work out it's about 100 pound after everything, so we probably won't bother with them. Pandas, but they're spammy. Flying it, ooh. These are good. I'm fairly sure that is pretty good. These work out to about 75 quid. Um, I'm fairly sure that's decent. There's a couple pairs. So let me, I'm gonna quickly check these. These work out to about 65. Um, not sure about these, to be honest. But I looked these up and these seem fairly good. So we're gonna grab them. There's two pairs. I'm not sure if to grab one or two of them. These are like 65 pound after shipping. So I'm gonna put these down in a pile, but these are maybe. Jamie's found some good stuff as well. These Valerian Blue Dunks for 85, I mean that's like 40 quid, 50 quid maybe. Uh, he's gonna grab some of these for 80, which I'm gonna grab as well. These I need to check because the retail them is super high. Uh, these work out to like 65 quid. Uh, so we're gonna grab them as well. These, but they're in a UK 13 for about 100 pounds. If they're a more reasonable size, then they're probably worth grabbing. Some silly high sales for these. I mean, these are a trash size and they're like just under 100, but loads of really high sales for these. So we're gonna grab Ooh. these as well. Uh, we're going to grab a couple of these, but apparently Jamie's went up and spoke to staff and then they've said, um, oh yeah, they don't do student for strangers from other countries. He just told me they do student, so I don't really know. But half the stuff isn't really worth me grabbing if I don't get student, so I'm just going to be a prick. If they're going to be fucking awkward, then I'm going to be even more awkward. I'll take it to Till and then if they're like, oh yeah, no, we're not doing student, then I'll just be an arsehole about it and be like, oh, okay, I don't want any of it then. Right, this is the pile. We've got uh, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs. So if they let us get student, we'll get all of them. But if they don't, then I don't think I'll get any of them. Haha, <laughs> okay guys, cook out. Let me run you through what I got. Because they did in fact let us get student in the end. They're actually very nice in there. I was being a bit um, of a prick, yeah. Okay, so basically, take 15% uh, off of anything you see in this app. Actual price I paid, because of the conversion rate. Got these 95s, uh, a couple of them, 10 and 11 for like 80 quid. P6000s, in fact, I'll just run you through it. So these were about 75, these are good. These were like £80, which is really good for them. Size 11.5 as well, rare size. These were like just under 60. These were 80. A couple pairs of these in good sizes. Probably get 120 to 140 in them. Might save these for an event. These were 75. Get 140 for them. Some Air Maxes. Uh, these were like 60 quid. Try get 90 to 100. And some Dunks. Paid 50. Try get 80, 90 on them. Uh, so yeah, another decent saw. Can't complain. Um, and then onto the onto the onto the rest of them. So under all that, so some French you don't rob them. Jobs are good at. Jobbies. I don't know. La Bosch. I'd just grab some French scram real quick. A baguette and a pan of chocolat. What we got? Same baguette. Some blaze crisps. Loud. When will the suffering end? Not yet. We're at the next Nike outlet. Please make it stop. This is a factory store. We have. Ah, oh, you know what? I bet. I don't even care. Can you fucking eat that? I don't know what it is. I hope it's apple. Can I buy it? No. Another weird shopping centre. Kind of bougie still. We've hit the jackpot. Found a store that's 50 off. But it's shit, them. 54 euro. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Uh, I've got these running shoes. They're like 40 quid. Uh, but the rest of it is shite, and they fell on the floor. Ah, fuck them. Don't want them anyway. Uh, got another pair of these, two seventies. This time in a nine. Again, we'll make forty quid on it. But this women's back wall is shit. And it's thirty percent off. Walls are massive, but if they're just full of shite, and none of it seems to be discounted really that much. Maybe it's because of the Olympics or something. But I don't really know. I don't even know whether to bother these or not. They're huge. They're kind of cheap though. A Forty-eight euro. So that's like what? Forty-two quid. That shit size as well, 11 and a half. And then these, again, they're like just under 50. But whoa, whoa. Oh, mate, oh, it's not, oh. just got attacked by a fucking shoe. They're just under 50, but again, I think I already have some of these, so I don't know. I need to check how many of these I have already. My god. She's just sort of killed that fucking shot. Guess I'll grab some of these. 54 euro.
Um, I couldn't be asked to record them, but we got a load of Navy Milers for like twenty pound or nineteen, which is pretty cool. We're going to the next outlet now, where I will record. Goodbye. Uh, we made it to the next Nike, which is um, permanently fucking closed. Isn't that lovely? Doesn't that just make you want to smile and sing songs and just do happy shit? Ah! Oh, it is. I didn't even see it. <laughs> oh, right. No, sorry. No. Yeah, shop is open. We're just about we're just around the back. Let's go! This just looks shite, doesn't it? They haven't fucking updated this in about 30 years. Okay, first up, we've got a lot of these milers, all smaller mediums. They seem like you get. Uh, more than five in these stores, so we're just gonna um, try blag it. They're all good sizes, and they work out to like 18 pound a pop. You just know the shop's gonna be shit when they got all of these stuff, but none of it's discounted. Like, if this is actually all discounted, it'd be so good, but it's not. Fuck this shop. Oh, and it's also 30% uh, off, so all of this is shit as well. I kind of wish it was closed anyway. I'm just gonna see how many of these I can buy. Make like six, seven quid a miler. Okay, let us uh, pick these up. To be fair, these would be decent. These work out to like £70 a pair. Um, but it's shit sizes. And um, yeah, I can't really be asked that shit back as well. So we should try and rinse as many of these miles as they, they let us to. Pay £18 after student and exchange rate. Sell them for like 25 quid pop. Especially in the good sizes and the white and this new abode colour. So yeah, um, that's probably it for this store. Like I said, 30%. Nothing good on Chelsea. Okay, the mic died, but we got 14 milers, all 18.50 each. Some of the abode and some of the white ones. How many do you get? 12. 12. 10 maybe. Maybe like seven quid a pop on them, so. Easy, I guess. No shoes, unfortunately. To be honest with you, France seems to be a bit worse for shoes than England, but. All the same shite as well. Yeah. But uh, I'll give you a full analysis afterwards. Okay, boys. Final outlet of the day and the trip. Uh, we've got an Adidas and a Nike here, so hopefully let's make it a banger. Obviously, only the shit Yeezys left in uh, Adidas, so this Nike is going to be our final hope. Is it? Now, to be fair, we are going to watch tomorrow. We're going to go into Paris and see what they've got in the actual city centre. Um, and hopefully, we can grab like a swatch or some other shit. Not happy. No milers. Nothing on the back wall. We're leaving the final store and that's that. So, time to head back now. You can stay cool. How long will we take back from what? An hour and a half? Hour and a half? I mean, this this track was kind of The fuck is that? A customs. Just blow my brains out. So, we're now back. It's late and I'm really tired, so I, I'm not really going to film much more. Uh, I'm just going to get this done and then see what happens. All right. Morning people, it is now Saturday morning and we're headed into Paris centre. No more outlets or anything like that today. Um, I think we've kind of exhausted all of that. We're just gonna, what are we doing? Just gonna have a look around, do some, some shopping maybe. Look around the skate stores. There's loads of cool shops in uh, Paris for like uh, shoes and streetwear and shit, like Foot Patrol, Supreme, uh, Kif. Honestly, I'm so sick and fucking tired of driving. Oh. Now that we've done all of the outlets, I can give you sort of a uh, comprehensive review as such as to do I think it's worth doing what we have done. Uh, and honestly, so over the two days, I spent in total about three grand on stuff. Now in the first day, I definitely could have spent more, okay? I definitely could have gone harder. But my main concern was that I didn't want to spend loads on the first day and then the second they'd be like, oh my God, like, I need to buy this, 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 etc. Whereas in reality, the first day was actually the better day. But, uh, well, obviously we hit more outlets and I spent more on the second day. But the two clearance stores we went to on the first day were actually, uh, in general, better than the stores we went to on the second day. So if I was to do it again, I'd definitely spend more in them clearance stores um, and the factory store that we went to. I think as well, it's sort of kind of unfortunate timing because... On the second day, all of the outlets we went to are in and around the vicinity of Paris. Like, if you look at the um, Nike outlet map in France, it's really, there's like literally almost like a perfect circle of outlets around the outskirts of uh, Paris, which is why we was able to go to so many. 
because they're all like 20 minutes from each other. Um, so with the Olympics being on, I think that is also some unfortunate timing. Milers there are just free money. If you go into a store where they're 23 euro, you get student and then the exchange rate is 18 pound a miler. Uh, and they normally sit in stock to be fair. I, I bought as many of those as I could. So there's no regrets on that front. Um, but profit wise from everything once I sell it is probably like, I'd like to say 40% return. So like 1200 quid profit. So after you split all the costs of fuel, hotel, uh, Le Chatel, yeah, it's definitely worth it, you know, and it's, it's good fun as well. Like today we've just got a day to just fuck around in Paris for a bit. But what I would recommend, right, with these foreign outlets, don't do what we did. Don't do a whole trip where you drive to a different country just to do outlets. If you're just going somewhere anyway, like, fuck my fork in. Like if you're going on holiday or somewhere which has an outlet sort of nearby, Bring an extra suitcase on your trip, check an extra suitcase, and just go and fill a suitcase full of stuff. With France being next to the UK as well, I assume other people sort of do similar trips like this, which is why there's not as good stuff there. Uh, but in other countries, like I've seen Sam Coleman go to Copenhagen and find some crazy stuff. Might be a bit more, uh, you might be a bit luckier. So yeah, was the trip worth it? 100%. Would I do it again? Probably not. It's also a very long trip, like, I literally, right, left Leeds at 3 a.m. on Thursday. We left, we woke up at 6.30 yesterday, and this morning I slept for like 10 hours, and I woke up and was like, what the fuck, it's already half nine. Um, so yes, yeah, incredibly, it's, it's long days, but yeah. I've had good fun. But that brings me over to the whole reason why we did this trip. Two days ago, I launched my first and my biggest ever project Resellers Paradise. By the time this video comes out, I'm not sure if it'd be out or not, but I did a video where I explained basically the whole, like, my whole sort of journey, I suppose you call it, to coming a full-time reseller. And it all started basically from joining a cook group called Nota Force that Culture Force started. Um, so big up to him. After like a year in the works, I finally uh, teamed up with a guy called Cal, who's on top of his game. He was the guy that ran Nota Force. He's ran other groups before. He was, he, he's, he's He's really good at what he does. Um, and he really cares and is passionate about it as well, which is, in my opinion, the most important thing. I've teamed up with a guy called Cal to open my own cook group. And what a cook group is, is basically, uh, it's a Discord group, which alerts you about anything you can buy to resell for a profit. Mainly sneakers. So we'll have a weekly guide that comes out uh, with like, oh, these are the weekly sneaker and streetwear releases you can buy and sell for a profit. And then each different release will have full guides. You can buy from this website, this website, this website, this website. Here's exactly the best ways to buy it. But it's way, way, way more than that. We're trying to revolutionize how these cook groups work. So, uh, for example, we've got a Vinted monitor. Now, the Vinted monitor is fucking mental. As soon as someone posts something cheap on Vinted, it'll send you a notification. If it's under the certain uh, parameters that we've put, so like Air Max, Supreme, Carhartt, Streetwear, anything that's profitable uh it gets pinged from the discord bot and people are buying like 10 plus items every single day and more than doubling their money making like hundreds of pounds every single day literally just from my video monitor and this is something i can confidently say i don't think many if 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 any cook groups have this as part of their server for free it's just a free part of their server there are people that charge there is a guy i know that charges 30 pound a month just for this bot just literally, it's, there's nothing else in the server, it's just this bot. On the first day, we did our tops trading cards flip. We could have made like 200 quid in like an hour from, and loads of people copped it. We tons of stuff like that. We've got an FBA section opening soon. Uh, it just needs the finishing touches done, but yeah. Basically, if you're trying to resell, or want to learn how to resell and get started reselling, that's the place to be. So if you want to start a side hustle, uh, if you want to start making some extra money on the side, the difference with our group as well is made and run by actual resellers people who do this full time also if you join the group you do get access to the night calendar guide as well as the used reselling guide Look, I'm, I'm waffling at this point it's 25 pound a month from the link down below if you join up and realize maybe this isn't for me this isn't quite what I expected to be I don't like this you can cancel it for free at any time ultimately 25 pound a month that's like a takeaway for a group that can teach you to make hundreds if not thousands extra pounds every single month especially coming into Christmas this is the best time there is no better time to get involved and now I'm going to stop talking and pass you back over to the, to the normal video. Do so you know where I'm going? Yeah, um, well we are trying to find um, somewhere to park, but we appear to just be, I mean, 
driving down a, a footpath. Um, right, yeah, really take her off the face of the earth. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing or where we're going or if I'm even allowed to be driving down here. Um, but hopefully we find some parking at some point. It's getting a hell of a lot of funny looks for someone who's not driving down a footpath. So I would assume I am currently driving down a footpath. It says it's parking at the end of the road though. So, um, yeah, you just keep walking the road, buddy. So allegedly there's parking directly on the left after these traffic lights. And I'm beginning to believe that less and less. Every meter that we get close. Someone has conveniently put a plant in front of the red light. What the fuck is going on here? Why is he taking a photo of me? Why is he going backwards? Parking! Oh, now this does not look dodgy at all, does it? What the fuck is this? 12 minutes is one euro. How the fuck are they working that out? <laughs> Do we have any other options? Just pay for four hours and I'll buy breakfast. Why do you park so fucking far away so I have to... That'll do, I guess. That's easy. They got them. What size is that? They're shit sizes. This is an eight. It's so nice. Loads of shit, let's be fair. As well as bonus well things. Loads of uh, weird stuff as well. I don't know what any of this is, to be honest. These things? Is that a bit of you? I don't know. I've never seen them before. I'm sort of cool, to be fair. It's this, the uh, Wales bonnet thing. These are actually nice, to be fair. This colour. They're both nice. I'd actually wear these. But I'm not a man of business to spend more money on shoes. Biggest size that was nice, that's this guy's day ruined. What have you got to say about that? I don't have a big size to resell for yeah. people. Obviously the, the Disney Lock kind of boys that beat us there are obviously beat us to this. Literally. No, actually, come to think about it, this fucking city is shit. You know what you are, Jamie? Turbo band. Yeah, you fucking scalper. <laughs> Too pretty. I've got a few pieces I need to get. The clients. <laughs> Three pack of pants by any chance? Four pack of underpants. <laughs> Jeez, man said Supreme store. Loads of t-shirts to be fair. I don't know, like 46 euro. But I don't really know what does. All the designs are just a bit random, to be honest. I feel like grabbing something just for the sake of it, but I don't know. I never really wear Supreme like that. It's kind of cool in there. What'd you get? Supreme pants. Okay. From there, website already flying, flying through shop now. Cherry Crip down shop from this fucking guy. To be fair though, that is commitment. Going all the way to France to fulfill an order. That's literally the only reason. That's the, so I, I'm not sure if I can um, match that level of customer service. We found a DSM, but bruv, this, this is how you get in. This place is so rogue. I mean, the England one's a bit uh, abstract, but it's definitely uh, edgy in here. We were forced, Jamie. So oh, this so isn't too bad. Yeah, we yeah. are. Oh my god, no way they got this. Shove that straight up your ass. Oh my god. Swatch. Fuck. And they don't have them until 5 o'clock. And we can't wait till 5 o'clock because the <laughs> shuttle will leave. And it will cost me 300 Great British pounds of parking. So, um, I don't know, I guess we just go and uh, eat something now. Grab some lunch. Got a chicken burger. Got some chips. Jimmy's got a normal burger with some chips. Isn't this romantic? I'm going to sink about six more pints and see how quickly I can um, get pulled over or crash on the way back to England. So uh, <laughs> look forward to that. State of this gaff. Fuck it. We've got two of these. Ice cream sandwich things. They look nuts. Bastard ice cream the, the, the bastard ice cream sandwich, mate. Proper. <laughs> Where's my fucking ice cream? Wow. Wow. Oh, I do. <laughs> Start at 7.50. Crazy. Start at 1.5 bags. Rascal. 
Oh, start at seven bills. Seven bills. Day fucking taxing now. Seven bills for fucking SB4s. Crazy. Squishy. What the f Bruv. What is the roof? I promise you, if roof falls down while I'm driving out the car park, I'm not gonna be happy. It's fucking state of that. France. What? I said I fucking hate France. 24 euro in tolls. Why? Use a fucking road. Mate, I hate this country. Or, or we Bonjour. could. Or to save us fucking 24 euro, we could take a two hour detour. We made it to, to Calais. Hopefully, no one's hiding in the boot. I haven't checked yet though, to be fair. Is that like, can I put that on YouTube? Ask someone who fucking cares. <laughs> now we just got to get through the passport control without being um, arrested. But there's any reason we'd be arrested. I've only got three miles of mass. Nothing else to declare. <laughs> I've actually got 18 minor t shirts on under this t shirt. Is it here I need to declare that I've got an air max up my ass? <laughs> <laughs> Made it. About to get on the train. It's 35 minutes till we're back in the fucking UK, mate. Isn't that exciting? It's not, is it? It's no, 35 no, minutes until it sets off. Oh yeah, no, I, that's what I meant to say. Just another hour of just doing absolutely nothing. Sat behind this fucking wheel. Yay! To be honest, I think now's the appropriate time to wrap up the video. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed. To summarise, should you do what we've just done? No. Are we idiots? Yes, but I hope it's... Uh, I hope, I hope you uh, were entertained. If you have, in fact, enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos bigger and better than this, we can do it. Um, I need you to drop a subscribe, drop a like on the video, and drop a comment telling me where you want me to go next. I'm thinking, all I'm saying is this video gets 200 likes. We, we, there's a possibility that I could take it to, to the US and redo this video. That's all I'm saying, there's a possibility. So if you do want to see that, basically this on a fucking major level, drop a follow, I mean, uh, drop a subscribe, like this video, and we'll, uh, yeah, we can, we can 100% do that. But yeah, thanks very much, guys. Um, and if you want to get started reselling, whether that's Aula reselling, vintage reselling, fucking releases reselling, there's a link to Resellers Paradise down below, like I said, it's my latest project, and it's gonna be, it's honestly, uh, I'm quite confident it's gonna be the biggest group in the UK soon. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Milo's made it back, boys. <laughs> Let's go!